Hey guys, Josiah here with Backcountry Evolution. We are in the Hunt Hut right now. Everything right now is currently organized nicely, not for long. So let's go through some essentials. There's so much getting ready for hunting season, so we're gonna start by getting our pack ready. So this will be a, a few part video. So let me grab my pack, okay? Put it on here for now. We'll start with that. Okay. First thing that I ever do that goes into my pack usually doesn't come out. It came out this last off season, but I needed to check everything, make sure I had it all. My emergency or first aid supplies is my number one thing that will always go in my pack. So grab a wet dry bag, wet dry bag guys. Okay, uh, where should we put this for now? Let's get ourselves a nice little spot here. I'll uh, clear off a shelf, that's what I'll do. Clear off a shelf, one second, bear with me here. Everything out of the way. Oh, okay, so I've got somewhat of a shelf now. So. Wet dry bag, right here again, wet dry bag, fairly large one. I don't skimp out on that stuff. Okay, now, let's start with the major. One to two group size medical kit, okay? Ultralight, watertight medical kit. It's waterproof, it's got a sealed tag, so you know it's never been used. And so that is the first thing that goes in. My first aid kit and emergency supplies okay must have you have to have first aid kit now i do a lot of archery hunting um what can happen a lot of times is when you're out there packing around you got your bow strapped to your pack you might have a broadhead fall out of you, out of your out of your your quiver okay you guys clotting sponge if that falls out it can go up it could get in your calf it's mm -hmm. happened to people before like and it they cut bad so a clotting sponge hopefully will save you in the back country in time to get to emergency services um i can't guarantee it but i will definitely carry that because you never know what could happen i bring moleskin for blisters i haven't had any blisters i've been very lucky but you never know if you're with someone they might get a blister it's good to get a moleskin on there um or for burns, okay guys, burns or blisters, okay. Um, the glacier gels, these glacier gels keep everything cool and will keep that heat away if you do get a burn. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, okay. Polysporin, everybody, always decent to have. Water filtration, I don't just bring one. I got this one that'll help me fill my camel back um, for my water pack inside my inside my pack and my bottles. It's a hand pump one. If push comes to shove, say you cross the river, you lose your pack or something, then that's not good. I always keep this one on me, a life straw. Like you never know if you it, it, you could be anywhere and you could need this. Having a life straw will allow you to drink water where you need to drink water. You have to have water when you're in the bush. Pack of matches. Sealed. Ready to go. All right. Water tight. Stay dry. Lighters are always good, but what if it falls out of your pocket? Or if your pack gets wet and your lighter doesn't work, then you're in trouble. Tums, guys. You never know when you get heartburn. Tums, Rolades, whatever you want to call them. A compass. I always put a compass in my emergency pack. It's worth having. Headlamp. Headlamp. Flashlight. I uh, I usually put these in the top of my pack because you need them quite often. Um, that head, This headlamp stays with my emergency kit. And then I have another headlamp I put in the top of my pack. I'll show you that later. Fire starter fire starter if things are wet um 
it's good to have fire starter. It'll keep you going for a little bit. Hopefully get a fire going. Give you some chances at least. Bring extra bolts. Emergency pack for my bow. Allen keys. And, and wipes. Wet ones. Antibacterial wipes. That is my emergency kit. Um, that is it. That's my emergency kit. That is the first thing I ever pack into my hunting season pack. Whether I be going out for three days, four days, five days, my emergency kit is always ready with first aid supplies. So that's that. I'm going to throw this in to the bag. We'll throw that in. Stuff you're going to use often. You don't want to ever hope to use that first aid kit. Um, but you never know. Actually, I might leave that out this year. I'd hate to have to dig through a bag for an emergency kit. Uh, but fire starter, life straw. I'll put that. I'll pull a life straw out. That'll be, that'll be with me when I'm in the bush. Or in my pack, depending. Polysporin. Mole skins. This is all light to you guys, remember. Ounces equal pounds out in the bush. All right, I'll put the clotting sponge in there, my wet wipes. No, this is not no promotional ad for anything. This is just what I use. This is what's on hand. This is what I buy. And that headlamp will go in this wet dry bag, okay? And then all I do is fold it up. Try to get the air out, sorry. And then I'll fold it up there. Roll it up. Now any wet dry bag guys, just because I have Kuyu, doesn't mean you have to have Kuyu. There's so many wet dry bags out there. Just clips on like that. A little carrying case, however you want to do it. Just like that. So that's good. Medical kit is good. It's there. Okay. Only other thing I do carry guys. Spare knife is in my emergency kit. And a hatchet. Okay. A hatchet and a knife. And that's that. So we'll go ahead and we'll throw it in the pack. I always top pocket this stuff. Hopefully this will stay. I always top pocket this. So this will go in the very top of my bag. It needs to be easy accessible. It needs to be there. So that will go up here. I'll go up there. The hatchet and the knife will go on the side of my bag. Or wherever I can fit it. But it will be in the bag. So those are the first things I put in my pack when I'm getting ready for season. Okay. And then that zipper is closed. And those are in the pack. And they're ready to go. That's the first stage of the pack ready to rock. Okay. Uh, tomorrow I'll do another video. I'll show you uh, my second piece of my pack that I pack and that would be my kill kit I call it my kill kit my harvest kit um, that'll be what I need to harvest the animal um, process it and get it out of the bush and uh, home and into the freezer or at least processed in the woods put into bags so that it can cool off I don't ruin my meat that's that guys thanks for watching any questions leave a comment I'll answer everything. Uh, let me know what you guys use. Let me know what you guys do for your emergency or what you do first for your packs um, and your system and how you do it.